All right, this has been a long journey to this point today. I've been looking forward to this, but I'm also very, very nervous. So what's going on today is I'm getting ready to pull this outside. We're just at freezing where I can get the pressure washer, pressure wash this bed, scrub it, pressure wash the suspension. That way we can get it back in here and get some nice black coating and some truck bed liner coating in the bed. Okay, why is the other reason why I'm nervous? I am also getting ready to start it and attempt to move it for the first time since I put the transmission in for the second time. And uh, so we're gonna try and do it all at one time. I'm gonna do the bed blast. We're gonna start it up here in a second. I've had to bleed the brakes. Hopefully I did that enough, got enough air out of them. But it is up and this will be the first time that I've moved it under its own power sitting on the 35s. Check that out. So, let's get this, oh, this thing is way up here. Started right up. There we go. Oh boy, it feels weird. I'm gonna make hay while the sun is shining and go ahead and get this pressure washer fired up. This pink is going away for good here real soon. So this is deja vu all over again, part two, because my GMC Sierra last year, about this exact same time, Project Stinky, we were out here pressure washing in the cold, um, trying to get the carpets and the just stuff, trying to deal with the stuff. All right, well, let's get this fired up. I've got a, uh, I got a bucket of soapy water over here. I have some Scotch-Brite pads inside and I'm gonna clean this up so the paint will stick. for me please even for a truck that we're going to sacrifice to the cliff gods to make sure that our bed liner spray sticks. I'm gonna have to rough it up. And the best way to do that is to just take a scotch Sprite and rough it up. So, pretty annoying considering if we want this paint to stick. By the way, if you are doing a truck bed liner at home, first of all, you can go to CarQuest and buy a variety of different brands a truck bed liner coating. They have everything from Raptor liner to rust -Oleum and other perky liner products. It's very good stuff. It works. I've been spraying this stuff on my truck beds for years and years and years. But we want to make sure there's no obvious grease on the oil in here. We want to get the loose stuff up. If, if I was doing a more permanent midliner install, I would come in here and feather out a lot of these deep scratches. That's going to create a better bonding surface. So we're going, this is more than adequate. Got a little soap in the water. 
you're going to let this dry here shortly and get to business. Maybe tomorrow, get the spray on it. Let's see how well it dries. It's super humid because we've had snow and rain and sleet the last, really it's the last week. It's going to be longer to dry. It is scrubbed, so let's get all the crud out. That's it, and this is going to dry. Let's be ready for our coating. And then, let's get down to the suspension and wheel wells and make them clean. Thanks to our friends over at CarQuest, we're able to pick up one of these high-tech bedliner kits for our Project Fall Guy stunt truck. This stuff is really, really neat and kind of uh, goof-proof. Basically what you do is you get multiple Part A cans and you get a Part B activator. You get four Part A cans. What you're going to do is put a fourth of this a quarter of this in each of the cans, shake them up. You're gonna need a Body Schultz gun. Body Schultz gun, you can pick these up uh, at your local CarQuest. You're going to use this to uh, go on and spray. Now there is another brand that's very popular called Raptor. The Raptor is a great product. It's tentable, um, really, really neat stuff. Essentially gives you the same results one thing to know about Raptor is you have to buy the Raptor gun kit with the Raptor spray. So kind of up to you what you're doing. Uh, in my case, I already have a Body Schultz gun and that saves me a little bit of money. With the Raptor liner, you can buy little tent baggies and you can change the color of the actual Raptor spray. Anyway, we're all good here. It's scuffed down, it's clean, it's dry. And one of, the, one of the positive signs is that as you look at it, there's no more sheen in there. It's all deglossed. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down to get the dust and stuff off of it and then get it going. Now, if you are doing one of these jobs at home on a truck that's going to be a long-term truck, you'll probably also want to pick up some seam sealer. Seam seal your bed, your panels where they all meet together one more time to keep moisture out of those cracks. We're gonna skip that step here for obvious reasons. A little seam sealer, some feathering, scuffing, cleaning. You may want to metal etch prime areas that you've gone all the way down to your bare metal and then go with your coating. But we're gonna get this coating going. It prefers about 75 degrees. We're running in this part of our garage, we're running about 65, not the ideal temperatures for this. We're in Alaska. We're gonna take what we can get we're going to get this thing sprayed. And your one-fourth of this per can is also pretty easy to figure out because you're just going to fill the bottom of the thread on here and we're going to shake this thing up like a can of spray paint. Here's your instructions and pictures right there. There it is. Pretty straightforward stuff. I've got a respirator I'll be popping on. I'm not going to have the camera running while I spray just to keep the lens from getting this stuff on. This is tough stuff, so once it gets, once it gets on, it's pretty well stuck. My general strategy when I do these is to paint the upper portion. That way I'm doing a lot of walking in here and then it's done. The walls, the upper portion. And then we just work our way back to the back, finish it up in the back. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. All right, you want to pick up one of these cans right here of aerosol spray when you're doing one of these DIY at home because it never 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 fails you're gonna have a little spot somewhere that you wish you had seen when you were spraying with your gun so we'll use that when we're all finished and if I didn't already mention it I'm also gonna use this material to black out the frame this stuff sprays really really well sticks really really well provides a really nice sort of a semi satin sheen and that's exactly what we want to do to make this thing look right underneath. 
See you in a minute. If you're curious, that's what one can mix will do right there. Basically three quarters of the walls. And it uses this stuff up pretty thorough. So we're going to go ahead and mix up another one. This one should get us here and then <coughs> I'm going to say maybe, maybe a third of the way or half the way through the bed right here and then we'll get into can number three and four and then I have another kit so I can start doing the suspension. All right, pink is gone. Sprayed in. Looks pretty decent. I'll go back and touch it up. You know, there's little details and things here and there. My next thing to do is to black out the wheel wells and suspension. So, just taking a quick peek. I did up to, this is the only foam I put in the whole build. In these uh, pockets here where the inner fender is supposed to bolt. So I'll go ahead and mix up another shot, black everything out that I can black out. And as Derek at Vice Script Garage says, it'll be a completely rebuilt suspension. And I'm done. All new bushings, all new bearings, all new everything. So I'm gonna get this lift up in the air, mix another batch, and here we go. I'm gonna jet this bottom off. Well, hours and hours later, we have a blacked out chassis, blacked out frame, blacked out wheel wells. Take a look from the front here. Yeah, I mean, that's what we were looking for. Nice, fresh black underneath there. Makes it look like everything is freshly rebuilt. Wheel wells look good. Ooh, nice coat of painting dust on it. Anyway, air in the garage out right now because it is super Super. Oh, it's a mess over here. I'm airing the garage out right now because it is a super stinky mess inside. But we're going to close all this up and bring it back up to temperature. There you go. That is a blacked out chassis. Black bed. I'm going to get this roll bar up in there after it all dries. And man, just checking things off the list. We are getting closer and closer and closer to some jump action. What do you think? A little elbow grease, some black paint. Oh yeah, that's what we're after right there. That is what we are after. Looking good, looking good. And I'm gonna shut this camera down. Oh yeah, yep, 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 looking good good.